maybe facing a little bit of our first challenge so far this season, Team B. It's fine. We got this. Yep, we got this. Let's go through the mail. Reaper on him, you Reaper. The Elmira College esports team is in the thick of the spring season, fighting for spots in the playoffs. McCree up top, guys. Yeah, I see him. The esports program started in 2019. In the fall of 2022, the team won its first championship in the Eastern Collegiate Athletic Conference, playing the first person shooter, Call of Duty. Still spawning out, They're but Elmira takes out. their first lead. Uh, how do you check in? Scroll down. This year, head coach Anthony Aficio is leading 39 players, 33 men, and 6 women. They're competing in 11 different games. You have a game tonight, I have uh, Overwatch 2. First of all, we're playing uh, Rocket League. Oh, let's go, let's go. Good stuff. I'm on the Smash team, so Super Smash Bros. Is it's funny because I come from traditional sports, so I'm a hockey player. I play hockey ever since I was six years old, and for most of my adult life, I've coached youth hockey or hockey on some level. Um, I bring that same passion, competitiveness, everything that I learned from that, I bring here, which in the beginning maybe ha ha was a little bit, uh, the kids were a little taken back, um, but I, get a, I like to get across to them that we take this as seriously as any of our other sports on campus. You're a student athlete when you're part of this program. Don't think that you're not. Yes, maybe it's, the, it's not the traditional sport. It's a little new. It's a little unknown. But it's the same translatable skills. You know, we're not as physical, but brain power, as far as athletics is concerned, it's communication, it's teamwork, it's making decisions under pressure, all that kind of stuff that goes into all the other programs as well. Um, a lot of our team takes that with them when they leave here. And that's that's one of the greatest things as a coach. As popular as the sport is, there's professional leagues for at least five or six of the titles that we currently play on the team. Yearly, the League of Legends Professional Championships garners more viewership online, but garners more viewership than the World Series. That's one of the reasons Elmira College is now offering a minor in esports and gaming administration. Well, it's very exciting. The way we develop the curriculum, they're going to learn about how are games made. You know, I think that's very important. They will also learn and understand the go-to-market and distribution and logistics process of how to get games to the marketplace. They will also learn how to manage, how to manage an esports team, how to manage an esports lounge. It impacts all ages and all populations. So again, a very booming industry and Elmira College is very excited to be a part of it. I'm so excited that gaming has become a professional endeavor now so the people that were treated mostly as outcasts in the past now have a way to express themselves and uh, really get into gaming. If you do in college you will have a bigger chance of probably going professional if you're really into the game and it's just a fun thing to do in general especially if you just don't want to be an athlete or you can't because you have a disability and so being on a keyboard or even a controller you can definitely do a lot more. I watch from him. I'm watching this side. Yeah I see him. It feels really cool. I feel like that's a really basic like definition of it, but to tell my brother, I'm like, oh yeah, I play on a you know college team for this game that you also play. Like, it adds like a feeling of surrealism. This is a real thing. I'm in this new community that's up and coming, and I tell like my students at school, I'm like, oh yeah, I played this game in a college level. Like, it's something that you can do someday too. Now to learn more about the new minor and to follow the team's live streams on Twitch, we posted more details on our website, that's my20years.com. Deja.